Welcome to another episode of eTech. Have you ever wondered what makes a light dimmer behave the way that it does? In fact, if you ask most electricians, they will likely tell you that a dimmer reduces the amount of voltage that the light bulb receives, and thus it's dimmer. And for the most part, that's logical. In fact, if we do reduce the voltage, we're going to get less energy delivered. But I've got a setup with just a standard dimmer, my electronic oscilloscope, the one that feeds through my computer, and we'll swap out these large light bulbs for some that are a little easier on the eyes. And we'll see what the dimmer actually does to reduce the amount of energy that is delivered to the light bulbs. Note that we swapped out the light bulbs for something that's a lot easier on the eyes. And if you take a look at the oscilloscope trace, you'll see the input sine wave, the 120 volts AC that we're feeding to the line side of the dimmer. And it's a fairly smooth sine wave. And right now it's off. We will turn it on and you will see both a current waveform that's going to be in uh, cyan or really light blue and a voltage waveform that is going to be in yellow. And you can compare it to what it looks like coming in versus it coming out of the dimmer. So here we've just got it barely turned on and you notice that it just has a sliver that it delivers and it's not bright enough to actually turn the lights on. So as we increase the dimmer, more and more of that sine wave is being let through. You can see the voltage waveform, now we're about halfway following the red one, which is the input side, the yellow is the output, and then the current follows it as well. So as we've got a chunk of the voltage sine wave, we've got about half a wave at the top and half a wave at the bottom, also the current follows it exactly the same way. And even as we bring it to its complete maximum, you notice there's a small wedge that does not disappear. That is what's being used up by the dimmer to be able to run the electronics takes a certain amount of energy for the electronics to work and to function. I'm going to turn the original sine wave, the one in red, off, and that way you can just see the output by itself. So right now we're at full brightness, and I'm going to turn the red sine wave off. And that way all we're left with on the oscilloscope is the actual output of the dimmer. We're at full brightness right now and I'm going to scale it back. Again, yellow is voltage and cyan or light blue is the current. And as I dim it way, 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 way down, there's just a little sliver of energy left. And then we turn it off. So I guess the one take home message from this is that it is not a reduction in voltage that causes the lights to be brighter or dimmer. It is how much of the sine wave are we letting through. And that total amount of energy translates into the amount of energy that we're able to put into the filament and get it to burn brightly enough to give us light. That's at full brightness, and you can still see the individual filaments all spun through. 